Hey guys, what's up? Amanda here, and today I'm going to share with you three super easy car camping dinner ideas for your next adventure. All right, so first up we have camp quesadillas. You're gonna need some cheddar cheese, some flour tortillas, green onions, a yellow onion, a red bell pepper, and then some salsa and sour cream to dip your quesadilla in. All of these recipes are super customizable, so grab whatever veggies you like. For the pepper and the onion, you're just going to dice it. I'm making two quesadillas in this video, so I'm using half of the pepper and half of the onion. So you just dice that up and then put it in a bowl. Lastly, chop the green part of your green onion and just set that aside. Heat up a cast iron skillet over medium heat. Add a little bit of cooking oil or ghee, which is what I usually use on camping trips. And then add in your diced peppers and onions and begin to saute those up. This is gonna take about five or six minutes. You just wanna stir somewhat frequently until the onions become translucent and the peppers have a nice color to them. At the end, throw in the green onions if you're using that and give that a toss. Cook for another minute or two. And then just take your peppers and onions and set them aside in the bowl. Turn your stove down to low and add a flour tortilla into your pan. Sprinkle it with a little bit of that cheddar cheese. And then top with a little bit of the peppers and the onion mixture. Lastly, top it with another tortilla and let this cook for a few minutes. The cheese will begin to melt and then you can carefully flip your quesadilla and let the cheese continue to melt all the way through. Let it cool for a minute or two before slicing it up and then serving it with some salsa and sour cream. All right, next up is Indian food. And this is definitely the easiest of the three dinner options here. This is all that you're going to need. I get these packets of pre-made Indian food from Trader Joe's and then a packet of rice from the brand Tasty Bite. The brand Tasty Bite also sells packets of Indian food. So if you don't have a Trader Joe's, just look for that brand. And then basically we're just gonna boil some water and heat all this stuff up. I usually start with the rice. So bring a pot of water to boil. The bigger your pot and the more water that you can put in there, the faster that this food will reheat. The rice usually takes about 10 minutes or so. And then I'll just set the rice aside and put the Indian food in the water. Again, the bigger the pot, the faster this will reheat. And of course, you can always just pour the food, like open the packet and pour the food directly into the pot. But the way that I'm showing you here is just very mess free, which I really like. So while the Indian food is warming up, I'm just gonna pour the rice into both my bowls. I usually do one packet of rice for two people. After about 10 minutes or so, the Indian food should be heated up. And then all you gotta do is just pour it over the rice. Be careful here because obviously this water is boiling and you don't want to burn yourself. So just be extra careful when you're pulling these packets out of the hot water. And that is it. So simple and so delicious. I actually eat these packets when I'm at home because <laughs> they're so good. All right, last up is one of my personal favorites, camp tacos. Here are all the things that you're going to need. We have some taco shells, some lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, salsa, avocado, sour cream, an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, cilantro, a packet of taco mix, I'm just using the one from Trader Joe's, and then some ground beef. Heat your pan over medium heat, add some cooking oil or some ghee, add in your meat, and just begin to break it apart and brown it up. And this will take a few minutes just to get it broken apart. In the meantime, I like to open my can of tomato sauce. Again, just an eight ounce can of plain tomato sauce. Don't forget a can opener if it doesn't have one of those easy open lids. 
right here in this video, we're using the can opener on my Leatherman. And then you're gonna need your taco seasoning. Again, my favorite one is from Trader Joe's. It has really simple ingredients, but you can also just make your own at home and bring it in a little plastic baggie or just grab whatever brand that you like. Once the meat is browned, you're gonna add in your taco seasoning and mix that around. Cook it for another couple minutes. Add in your tomato sauce. Mix this around until it's really, really well combined. And then you're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes or so and just let these flavors really develop. In the meantime, you can get all of your toppings ready. So chopping your lettuce or your tomatoes or whatever else you wanna use on your tacos. So once the meat is done, you can just turn the heat off. As I mentioned, I have some lettuce, some tomatoes, cilantro, avocado, salsa, sour cream, and I'm using these hard taco shells, which I'll be honest, they're definitely better when you can toast them at home, but I just eat them straight out of the box when I'm camping and I still really like it. You can also use a flour tortilla for these tacos if you prefer. And then it's all about layering it up. I like to put my cheese on the bottom so that the warm meat will melt the cheese. And then some lettuce and some tomatoes and some avocado, of course. <laughs> Add a little cilantro. Are you one of those people that loves or hates cilantro? Let me know in the comments below because I know some people really hate it, but I love it. Add a little sour cream and there you go. These camp tacos are done. Like I mentioned, you can also do this in a flour tortilla, whatever you prefer. Simple and delicious. One of my favorite camp meals. All right, there you go. I hope you guys are inspired by these three super easy car camping dinner ideas. For more details and recipes, check out amandaoutside.com and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.